Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. Is today? It is today's Tuesday. I totally lost track of what day it was. Good evening to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday to show you a fun new project. So I am just going to chit chat for a few minutes just until it shows up in our news, news feed that I am live. I think I felt my watch go off, so I should hear my iPad in a few minutes. So hopefully you guys had a great day. I have not been in the studio for the last five days. And today was my very first day back. And I don't know if you saw my Facebook um, picture this morning. It was 61 degrees in the craft room. Way too cold for me. So I had to run in and get a sweater before I came out and started my journey in finishing up, tidying up from the retreat. The RV garage was completely done, uh, but I had put the last bits and pieces on my table, which I really try not to do because then it takes me a while to get it cleaned off. So today I focused on cleaning that off. I actually started with working on tonight's live, and then I couldn't find the stamp set that I wanted. So then I said, you know what, I am just going to clean the table and then I'll do my live. So that's exactly what I did. So I got actually a lot accomplished today. I was really surprised. And I even got upstairs and got some stuff done up there as well. So I was pretty impressed with myself. So hopefully you guys have had a good day. Um, hopefully we are live. I did feel it on my watch, but I don't see anybody yet. So let me just come over to my iPad and yeah, I'm not sure if we are live yet. Everything seems to be going, so I'm just going to continue. I'm going to go ahead and flip you over. Okay, I see. It must have taken a little bit longer to get into people's news feeds because there I think it is finally showing up. It's not showing up on my iPad, but that's okay. Maybe in a few minutes it will. But I do see some comments. So, hello, Marie. Good evening. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. So today's card is kind of a fun design. It's a little different of a design. I don't think I've ever done one like this. So I'm super excited to show you. Um, this is the designer series paper that we're going to be using. Sorry, I'm just playing with my iPad for some reason. It does not want to show up. But I do think I am live, so we are good. Um, this is a designer series paper that I'm going to be using. I used this last week as well. It's called Rustic Harvest. And it is great for our fall colors. It's great for scrapbooking. If you're going to pumpkin patches, you could definitely use the pumpkin um, designer series paper for your scrapbooking pages. Um, it is just all around amazing, amazing colors and amazing paper. So that's the paper we're going to be using. Let's see. Good evening, Darlene. I'm freezing. I don't know if it's my end. Everything shows that I'm live and full internet. So hopefully it's not something on my end. Um, the stamp set that we're going to be using is going to be um, the painted pheasants. I really wanted the Happy Thanksgiving but it is missing in action right now. So hopefully I am all cleaned up and tidied up, but for some reason I still cannot find the Happy Thanksgiving. So we are going to use the Grateful instead. It's still gonna be super cute. Oh, let me bring in the cards. These are the cards we're gonna be making. Um, they are very simple to make. It just takes a little bit of cutting and a little bit of measuring and you can either do them on the right side or the left side. So I wanted to show you how to do both. But that is the fun card we're gonna be doing. It's still not showing on my iPad, so I'm not 100% sure, so I still have to keep looking over at comments. Good evening, Darlene, Valerie, Stephanie, Carol, hello. Okay, so it must be something, my internet says it is completely on, so it's gotta be something with Facebook. Who knows? Technology and me, we do not get along. <laughs> okay, so for this card, we're going to start with, um, it actually doesn't matter what size you do your card base out of. I actually just pulled some scraps out of my scrap pile. So I think one is going to be this dimension, and then the other one is our normal 8.5 by 11. But this one's 4 and a quarter by 11, and I scored it right in half at 5.5. So we're just going to fold that. Give it a good crease, and I'm going to set that aside. 
So our base of it, that were our layering pieces, this one is four inches by five and a quarter. This one is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I know everybody, I do not like doing these, but for this card I had to. So three and seven eighths is just two lines under four and five and an eighth is just two lines over the five. So that's what this one is. And then we have two pieces of designer series paper and they're four and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And you need two different designs. You could use the front and back of one, but I really like these two pieces together. So that's why I picked two. So you were gonna get two cards out of this one, out of these two sheets. So again, it's four and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So four and seven eighths is two lines under five and three and seven eighths is two lines under four. So I love this ruler. It is literally a game changer for me. So we need to do a couple things with our designer series paper before we do anything else. So first I want to bring my ruler in and I'm going to line this up to the side and I'm going to grab a pencil and I'm going to come in and okay I think we are live. I think I can see it on my Facebook now. Yeah. We're gonna come in and we're gonna make a little line at the one inch mark. And then I'm gonna come over here and I don't think I'm gonna be able to flip my ruler around. So we're gonna make a line at the one inch mark here as well. I should have brought in my smaller ruler because I don't think I can go the other direction with it. Okay. So there are two of our one inch lines. So we're gonna do a one inch on the left and then a one inch on the right at the bottom. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna bring this piece in. So for this piece, I want this to be showing up front. So I'm gonna do my marks on the back side. I know that sounds a little funky and a little wonky, but trust me, you will understand once we cut these. So again, I'm gonna do the one inch, and then actually I'm gonna to come to this side. Might be a tad bit easier. Line this up, and I'm gonna do the one inch right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring my trimmer in. We're gonna make two of these, so we're gonna go over all of these measurements again. So I'm gonna take up, and I'm gonna put my mark. It's hard to see on the black. I won't lie, but I can see it on my ends. So I'm going to line up those little pencil marks and I'm going to slice that in half. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to line up those same pencil marks that I did and I'm going to slice that. So that is how we are going to get our diagonal strips. So you can do them either way. So I have both of them. So now we can bring in our basic white piece and we can just start kind of layering these pieces together. So this is going to go at the bottom and this one is going to go at the top. So I really wanted the more of the pumpkins to show. So I did it this way, having the pumpkins on top. So before we glue anything down, I didn't want to accidentally smudge my stamping because we're going to stamp before we glue everything but I didn't want to glue everything and then smudge my image so I'm going to come in with my grateful ink this up and I am just going to stamp it right on the basic white piece so now we can glue this together yeah, it's freezing up on my side as well. So I am not 100% sure. Everything seems to be running fine. I have all my internet bars, so I am not 100% sure. This is the first time it's happened. So then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna glue this all the way to the tippy top. And then I'm gonna put some adhesive on here and I'm going to glue this all the way down at the bottom. 
There we go. Look how easy that card was to put together. It took a little bit of cutting, but other than that, it's super easy. So remember when I said you had to flip this piece over? Actually, remember how I said you had to flip this over to do your cuts? If you don't, this is what you will use. So it'll be the opposite side of your card, which is totally fine. It's beautiful. I went ahead and still created a card with it, but I really liked this version of it better. So then now we can glue this to our layering piece. And this one just has an itty bitty borderling all around it. While that dries, I'm gonna bring in my gems that were just here earlier. Hopefully they still are. Oh, there they are. They were under my ink pad. And I'm going to put a couple gems on here. So I am just going to tuck them right at the bottom. So I'm gonna do one big and two small. There we go. We might have to just wait and watch the replay because I am not sure why it keeps freezing on my end as well. We were watching TV just fine prior to me coming out to do the live, so not sure what's happening. And then don't forget about putting your piece on the inside so you can write your sentiments. So I'm gonna walk through one more time on how to cut your uh, designer series paper. I know we still have um, another one to put together, but I'm gonna set that aside because I don't want any of this to be irritating to anybody on it freezing. So I'm just gonna quickly do this and then I will sign off for the night and call Cox and find out what's going on. So you're gonna grab your pencil, you're gonna line this up and you're gonna mark it at the one inch mark. And then we're gonna come down here, line this up. There we go. And I want this side showing, so I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on this side. There's that. And there's that side. And now we can just do some trimming. Oops, got that backwards. So we're gonna line up our little tick marks. And then this side, we're gonna do the same thing. Maybe because it's chilly. Maybe it's not used to having Arizona chilly weather. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll chalk it up to. Okay. So we are going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to layer these pieces, but I'm not going to glue it down yet because I want to stamp. In case I mess up, I can flip my paper over. It is why there is two sides to every piece of paper is in case you mess up. This is where I wanted the Happy Thanksgiving. I thought it would fit perfect in that spot, but... We cannot find the Happy Thanksgiving just yet. I'm sure it'll appear. I lost one of my dies for one of my sets, so I tested a couple of my girlfriends that I knew I had borrowed theirs so I could run double. And they were like, nope, I'm pretty sure I don't have it. And then I ended up finding it. So it's here somewhere, so I'm sure. So you could do these for birthday, you could do them for wedding, um, you could do this for a get well. Any occasion would be super cute. Let's layer this on. And like I said earlier, hopefully it worked when you heard when I said it, I just grabbed um, scrap cardstock from my bin. Um, so this is our thick basic white, and it's five and a half by um, eight and a half, and I scored it a four and a quarter. 
and I use the basic white so we don't need the piece on the inside. I don't think the color of your cardstock matters as long as it matches your um, designer series paper. I think you can definitely go with any color you have available. So let's bring in our gems. And hopefully the recording will not be as annoying. I'll have to rewatch it later. Okay, so there you go. There are your cards. So I did basic white. I did um, mossy meadow. Here's another one in basic white and another one in mossy meadow. So you guys can pick which one you like best but I really, really like the design and the layout of it. So that's why I chose to use it. I am so sorry. I am not 100% sure what's going on with my internet. Um, hopefully it's nothing major and I will be back on Thursday for another live and hopefully there's no interruptions. Um, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see everybody on Thursday. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.